Hi, I'm Geeta from Informatica Global Customer Support. In this video, I'll be demonstrating on how to send post session email with session log attached in Power Center. Agenda of the video, we shall have a demo on how to configure session properties to send an email with session log attached for a successful and failure sessions. Followed by a recap of the steps that we perform. Let us go ahead with the demo. I have already created a mapping and generated this workflow. We have an email option at the session property, using which we can send an email after successful completion or failure of the session task. We can also attach the session log and other relevant files to the email. Right click on the session and click on edit option. Go to properties tab. We can see an attribute right backward compatible session log file. This writes session logs to a log file. We should select this option to create a log file in addition to the binary file. Next, select config object tab. Here, for logging options, select session runs as a value for an attribute save session log file so that integration service creates a designated number of session log file. Next, let us move on to components tab. Here we can see two tasks on success email and on failure email and the types are reusable and non-reusable. We can specify a reusable email that task you create in task developer for either successful email or failure email. We can create a non-reusable email task for each session property. When you create a non-reusable email task for a session, you cannot use the email task in a workflow. Here we shall select the task type as non-reusable for both the tasks. Let us edit the value of this task. So these are the attributes of this task. Email username, email subject, email text. Email username. You can create a parameter and add this parameter and its value in a parameter file or you can give the value of this parameter at Pass Center Integration Service Properties in Admin Console. This is the parameter name and the value will be the email address of the recipients who will be receiving the mail upon successful completion of the session. Email subject. This will be the email subject. Let us give it as session success. Email text. This is the email message. We can use email variables and format tags in an email message. For post session emails, with email variables, we can include important session information in the email, such as session completion time, session start time, session status, total records rejected, and many more. You can also attach session log and other files with email message. This is the sample email message where we have information related to session name, mapping name, and the session log attached. Let us make the changes for on failure email as well. This email will be triggered on failure of the session task. Email subject. Let us give it as session failed. Email text. Even here we have given a sample email message with a session name, mapping name and session log attached. Apply and save the changes. Now we can run the session. 
we can see that the session ran successfully. I'll be sharing the sample email for session success and session failure scenarios. This is the email that I received for session success. We can see the session name, the mapping name along with the session log attached. This is the sample email message that I have received for session failure. Here also we can see the session name, the mapping name and the session log attached. Let us have a quick recap of the steps that we performed. In Workflow Manager, select the session and click on Edit option. Go to the Properties tab and select Write Backward Compatible Session Log File. Change the value of Session Log File name from .log to .txt and this is optional. Select the option Save Session Log by Session Runs under Config Object tab. Go to the Components tab, select Type as Non-Reusable for the task on success email and on failure email. Enter the value for attributes, email username, email subject, and email text, then run the session. You can refer to this document link for more information related to how to work with post-session emails. We would love to hear from you. If you have any feedback, please write us at our support videos at readinformatica.com or tweet to us on our Twitter handle at InfaSupport. Thank you.